Tronicon 2000, 2020. 2020, Otronicon 2020. There are so many cool things to do here in Orlando, and especially here at the Orlando Science Center, but Otronicon is my personal favorite. I don't know about you. It's great. It's got a collection of really unique, um, awesome developers, yeah. sciences, space exploration. Our artists. And apparently Pokemon, that was one of the things that was recommended us, to us today, is to come over here and have a special lab that has you creating Play-Doh that electrifies, just like our friend Pikachu. And that works because Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon, if you didn't know. I assume most people know this. So that's what we're going to go and do right now. We're going to check this out. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. It's Pikachu. All right, let's go. We are going to make some electricity conducting Play-Doh. It says first add two scoops of flour and half a tablespoon of salt to the bowl. So there we go. She's got her two scoops. Okay, that's two scoops. You counted it right, right? Yes. And, okay. and a tablespoon of salt. Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon. adding one tablespoon of water. So that's what Marcy's doing right now. One tablespoon of water. And, okay. and then after that, five drops of food coloring to your cup. The food coloring is meant to make it... Yellow. Because Pikachu is in fact yellow. Okay. All right, next up, add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Say that's a job well done. All right, so we're walking through Otronicon. When you go through the show floor, when you're out here at Otronicon, you're going to notice there are a number of big names. What are some of the names you're seeing out here? Uh, NASA. Lockheed NASA. Martin. Lockheed Martin, the Navy. Tons of really cool stuff to see, and they all have kind of interactive yeah. exhibits. He has a lot of VR. Yeah, yeah. So we mentioned earlier that there are a lot of cool groups here. You said Lockheed Martin, NASA. A bunch of really cool groups. One of our favorite groups comes out here to Otronicon every single year, and that is Disney. Disney is always out here in full force. So we're gonna go check out and see what they're doing on the show floor this year. So this is a motion-controlled fountain. So if you move your hand around to conduct the music, it activates the various fountains. That's really, really cool. That's awesome. And is this something they actually use at the park at all? Or is this something you're just doing for this no, weekend? Currently, just a tech demo. Cool. <laughs> That's really technology. awesome. So you got you got fountains. You need fireworks, right? And I guess there's even some stuff to do with projection. So this is really cool. One of the cool things they're doing at Otronicon this year is Disney is giving you a chance to kind of create your own display. And I guess at the end, you can even watch the whole thing. So that's really, really cool. If you've ever dreamt about designing your own nighttime spectacular at Walt Disney World, this weekend, this is your chance to do it. Very, very cool. So in the background there is the actual castle. This is... Cinderella's castle in the background, and Marcy is currently working on her projection mapping skills, trying to get her show to appear on the wall in the back. All right, now I think I need to pick my fireworks. Okay, so you got some different choices from fireworks. What do you got here? This one's called a green hornet's nest, even though it's red. 
check out the size of this guy here. Oh my god. So what is that? That's the inside of one of our fireworks here? Yeah. They get kind of crazy. Fireworks Done. selected. Now you actually get to watch your show. How's it going? Hi. You are representing today one of our favorites, all-time favorite Disney hotels. Yep. Disney's and, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh my gosh, such a great hotel. Yep. And tell us a little bit. I've been filming this as you've been going through this. What is the application for this technology? So this helps our scientists and engineers and imagineers before we ever build it uh, get an idea of what the room is going to be like. It's very, very quick and easy with a couple of mouse clicks to change out what a room looks like or a ride okay. looks like or a space looks like in VR instead of trying to build it and then say, hmm, we want to have different uh, sheets there or we want to have a different chandelier or whatever. That's crazy, the attention to detail that this company Yeah, it's does. a really, really cool experience to get right. to work on this sort of thing. Hey, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, Andy. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. All right, we've seen just about everything. What's this What's this guy here? Um, so this guy here is Stumpy. Um, he can tell the difference between recycling or trash based on which object you hold up in front of the camera there. This is a very obscure Disney character that I have not heard of. <laughs> yeah, he was... Um, Stumpy. Yes, he was born out of our ideas. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, so... All right, so... Let's see if he knows what recycling is. Nice. Very cool. And then the trash, which is the quintessential fruit snack package. See if he knows what that is. He does. What's the application for this, or is it just fun? Um, stuff is just for fun, but they've started using computer vision in robotics in the parks in Disney. Um, so there's actually these little creatures that are out in the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction oh, queue. Okay. Um, and they'll track you as you move throughout the line. Um, oh, they respond neat. to sound or emotion as well. So what was then was Stumpy at, you mentioned Guardians of the Galaxy, was he at all inspired by uh, a Groot? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. I mean I guess they're from the same family, tree. Yeah, the tree, the tree family. The tree, yeah, family. the tree family. Okay, the family tree. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've been checking out all the Disney stuff. And you are the last stop on our journey. Oh, okay, good, good. I assume this has something to do with Animal Kingdom? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so I am a zookeeper. I work at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, cool. One of the animals we have over there are Abyssinian ground corn hills. Okay. Uh, so these guys are very smart, and they have a lot of complicated behaviors they would do in the wild, including collecting things like um, grasses and pine cones, whatever they'll find. And um, they also will hunt the turtles and tortoises. So we put those two behaviors together. The uh, birds that I work with have been trained to find these on the savanna. Okay. When they do, it has an RFID tag inside. And when it passes by the reader, it tells the motor, spit out a turtle. And obviously this is not a real turtle. It's a baking soda, cornstarch, clay okay. turtle. And it has treats inside for them. So That's when it spits awesome. out, they have to break it open. You can give it a try if you want to. Okay. Just put these in the okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so so then it goes out for them. Yeah, if you were one of our hornbills, you would break this open and there would be a grape inside. Or maybe a cricket. Wow. That is so and cute. Then is that it partly just to make them so they're not, not as homesick? They can kind of do what they it's are used to doing? Right? Well, the birds that I work with were born at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, okay. So that is their home. But it's more just to give them an opportunity to do natural behaviors. Yeah. Uh, it's just, and they're, like I said, very smart birds. So this is a way to keep them occupied thinking about things. Their like brains. That's awesome. That's so cute. Well, last question. How much you guys like working for Disney? Oh, I love it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> All right, there is just way too much stuff to do here, but I'm very excited that we got to go through the Disney area in its entirety. And thank you so much to the Disney Company for doing such an awesome job bringing this stuff out for people to see. What did you think? I thought it was really fun. It's interactive and something for everybody. Yeah, definitely. If you have not been out to the Atronicon event, it happens every year at the Orlando Science Center in January, and we definitely recommend you check it out. And if you like videos like these, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Retrospective.